From our studios at historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast. Welcome to the weekend, everybody here in the Iowa Great Lakes. Getting ready to get rock the weekend off. Clay is here with us again, of course, from the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association. How are you, buddy? Yeah, I am great. It's good to be with you as always. Yeah, you got a big weekend. You know, when I think of the rock festival, I, I think of the Kiss song, we're gonna rock and roll all night. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna party all every, and party day. every day. So we're, we are, we're going to rock and roll all night on Friday, yes. and then we're gonna party all day on Saturday. Yeah, well, let's, should we start with Friday? Or you yes, want, yes. I mean, that's one that comes, today. That's today, one that comes first, tonight, yeah, tonight. Tonight at the Roof Garden, we are going to have seven bridges, and seven bridges bills themselves, and quite appropriately, as the ultimate Eagles experience. Yeah. And we talked with one of the members, his name is Keith Toma, yeah. and Keith plays the role of Don Henley. So what they do is they study each one of the eagles right. and uh, work on their, their voice inflection, their mm -hmm. harmonies, the way they play their instruments, all of those sort of things. And the way Keith was explaining it to me was, in fact, he, this was kind of funny, while we were live on air in Sioux City, uh, the DJ had said something about being, you know, cover bands are really a big deal. And he goes, um, excuse me, I don't mean to be this way, but we're not a cover band. We are a tribute band. Yes. And there is a difference. Yes. Yes, there is. And he, and he taught me about that, that they just listen and really try to perfect that sound yeah. and do as faithful and authentic of a job as they possibly can. That is tonight. Tickets still available. Let's get into tomorrow. I mean, what a big event. The first time. First have to time. Add. Yeah. Yes. When I was hired, you know, they was the board was saying, we do a really good job and we continue to, and don't worry everybody, we will continue mm -hmm. to do the Rock the Roofs, uh, do things for the base that built us yes. and continue to support us. Yep. So we're always going to have events that celebrate the legacy of rock and roll music. Right. Uh, don't worry about that. But we have to start growing younger. Yeah. Uh, basically, they said if we don't, we could be looking at ourselves in 20 years and, and wondering, where is it? Where did the crowd go? And uh, yeah. so we're, we're taking steps in that direction yep. by doing a millennial rock festival. Yeah. And they are, every one but two of the artists are Iowa artists. Right. And the two that aren't have connections to Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like Jocelyn is from Omaha, mm -hmm. and it was a couple of our Iowa Rock and Roll Hall of Famers that really noticed her talent yeah. and helped her get a start in the business. And she's very young. And she's, uh, gosh, she's warmed up for Hootie and the Blowfish. She's warmed up for Bare Naked Ladies. She's got a recording contract with a major label. Uh, she's major talent for the state, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And she, out of all the people that I looked at, she had the most follows and things like that. Yeah. Uh, most people watching her YouTube videos. Yeah. But then closely behind that is, uh, is a group called Half Loves. And Half Loves is out of Iowa City. Okay. And you will like Half Loves. Uh, they play kind of an 80s, early 90s style of music. That's yeah. the style they emulate. Uh, some of their videos look like they could be right on MTV uh -huh. circa 1983 or right, something right. like that with uh, Got it. over exaggerated <laughs> graphics yeah, and exactly. things like that. <laughs> And uh, so they're, they're really cool. And there are some connections to this area, you know, with that group as well. And then there is a spectacular solo artist. Her name is Elizabeth Moen. And Elizabeth is also from the Iowa City area. Okay. Vinton, I believe, is the town that she was raised in. Okay. And Elizabeth has a real sultry, soulful, closest thing I can conjure up is somebody like Janis Joplin or okay. something, but, but she's her own person, right. writes her own music, and she'll be in the Majestic Pavilion. And then there are three groups, so I'm just kind of going through this by memory. There are three groups that will be right here on the patio. Okay. And the first one is been there, or excuse me, the first one is uh, more or less. So 
Wendy, who is Gary Lambert's sister, mm -hmm. and often sings, you know, Boone Lambert and Wendy. Yeah. Wendy's right. daughter that lives in the Twin Cities has got a girl singing with her, and so they're coming down as more or less, and that is right here at 10:30 right. in the morning. Okay. And then right after that is going to be Gary's son and friends from Okaboji High School yeah. that are triple shot. Yep. So they're going to play, and then Good kids. so that's you know if you if you don't if you want to sort of check it out, put a baby toe in. You can come listen to those for free. Yep. All right, but we would rather you buy one of these because they're fifteen dollars in advance, or they're twenty dollars at the door. Okay. And then this gets you into all of the stuff in the roof garden and, and the, pavilion. the pavilion. Okay. Yes. Very good. So. Been There, Done That is going to play later on the patio, but okay. they're going to play first in the roof garden. They won the Iowa Rocks Talent in 2018. That's right, okay. They're an all-girls group that sort of is, to me, and I made this up, I don't know if they all like it or not, but to <laughs> me it's like the Bengals meet Joan Jett. I love it. All right. I I had crushes on all of them. Yes. So, yeah. so it's they got a harder edge than the Bengals, but just as talented and, yeah. and unbelievable talent in that young group. So we get going here, ten thirty Saturday morning. Yes. And the whole schedule is on uh, the website or Facebook. Yes. That you can yes, it's on our website. It's on Facebook. Uh, I, I hopefully you know during this interview you'll put it up there. Yep. And uh, so been there, done that, Jocelyn at the, so it's been there, done that at 12.30, Jocelyn at one o'clock in the pavilion. Okay. Another group that's really cool, Surf Zombies. Anybody out there like the song Wipeout? Yes. All right. They like the song Wipeout. <laughs> so there are young people that thought that kind of music is really cool and they wrote their own music in that safari in, sort of style. In that kind of venue. Yes. Yeah, that they, genre. They don't sing, they just jam on their guitars and have a riot. So that's at 145. Then La Raza is a local group. That's Karina Van Wy. They've played many times at uh, the at the uh, farmer's market yep. and other areas around town. Right. Karina has a fantastic voice and then she's uh, supported by two gentlemen that are, are really good musicians. So they play kind of 90s music and very, very cool. Very good. Jocelyn will perform again in the roof garden. She had enough music that we, you know, we split her into two 45 minute sessions. Elizabeth Moen at 345. Another group to mention is the Ruralists. The Ruralists are friends of Half Loves. Okay. And the Ruralists are actually Dort College professors. <laughs> That play rock go, music. Go figure. That's go figure. A, yeah. My son Will, that went to Northwestern College, goes, man, the ruralists are cool. <laughs> and, you know, he'd gone to listen to them at uh, in Orange City, and Fun. they play. They're from Sioux Center, yeah. so they play all that kind of GMAT college circuit. Okay, is, is what yeah. they do. And then Half Loves after that, and then been there, done that, back in our patio, and then if that isn't enough, uh -huh. uh, Pet Rock is the free concert. Uh, that the park has. on the preservation. Plaza so stage, by yeah. that time, I'm going to settle into a uh, a chair <laughs> and just kind of take it easy. Yeah, you better, because <laughs> that's a long day of music. But that's what a, a rock festival is about—about about being able to start early and and see different acts and take it in different venues. I mean, what a, what a great day! What a great thing to bring to Okaboji. Well, we're we're hoping that this is the start of something that you know, becomes really big. I mean. Think of how many venues in this area have live music. Yeah. Uh, different restaurants, different clubs. Uh, we could have this be sort of the focal point, and gosh, wouldn't it be nice if we had 20 or 30 bands here, like uh, like an 80-35 yeah. or up South by Southwest. Think or, of the people who had, I mean, we already got so many people coming to the Iowa Great Lakes, but it would bring maybe another generation and, and a, a, a different crowd that we haven't seen before. So. And I want to thank Iowa Tourism, uh, Travel Iowa, they they awarded us with a grant and that enabled us to do this something that's a little bit out of our comfort zone and we need to pay these people a, a reasonable amount of money <laughs> and so the grant and then arnold's park uh helped with the match and uh so so there are major sponsors but we have a, a lot of other sponsors to thank uh and i hope i get them all in my brain right now but mm -hmm. uh, cozy heat Fireplaces is sponsoring the roof garden stage. Yep. Okay, they're they're doing that. Pier Fishing is the Majestic Pavilion, and then we've got Blink Marketing 
here for our patio. Yep. We've got Williams and Company that is an accounting firm and they are supporting us. They are, have offices in both Esterville and Spencer. And then we have our major sponsors uh, for the whole year. Uh, we've got Ruth Van Locker and we've got KUOO and all of the stations in that group Very good. supporting us as well. So It's all about the partnerships you build. Yes, yep. yes, and then a lot of promotional help from Vacation Okaboji and the Chamber of the Iowa Great Lakes. So that's the type of thing we got to do to, to bring the kind of talent here yep. and make it affordable and fun. And, uh, and so we're really looking forward to just it. Just another thing here for Okaboji, and what a great thing it is. So a reminder, tonight, Seven Bridges Road in the Roof Garden. Tickets still available. And tomorrow, it's Rock Festival. Yes. All and a day couple, long. One other little thing. Yeah. We've got, I know we have one offer, is that when you have a wristband, you could go to the diner within Arnold's Park and get a 10% discount on any food that day. Okay. And we're trying to work out a couple other things like that so okay. that it uh, makes it affordable for you to stay right here in the area. There'll be bev beverages available all over, but yeah. as far as the food and such, uh, you know, it'll be nice. We want to we want to support everybody that supports us around here. Absolutely. Couldn't say it better myself. All right, my friend. Thank you. Of course, uh, Iowa Rock, the letter N, roll.com is a website. Look for it on Facebook. Clay, thanks for being with me again. Thank you, Jeff. Absolutely, my rock and roll friend. We want you to come enjoy a great weekend of music all day Saturday, tonight in the Roof Garden. Thanks for watching us here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by the headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. The Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake, Pure Fishing in Spirit Lake, Last Touch Painting and Cleaning providing interior, exterior, house painting and professional cleaning services in Spirit Lake. Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman and Erica Wachholz. Duckies Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake. Bank Midwest, Dream Big, Plan Wisely, Live Well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 